do an inventory every day to know your values to create a mindset. The people that are most successful don't have to waste time dealing with whether they should do something or not or hang out with someone or not because they can tell right away, is this aligned with my personal values, experiential values, giving and receiving values. This is why my next book is going to be called Don't Do Business with Dicks. Eventually, if you do a business with a dick, you won't be happy. Two, learn two series of questions in order to have the right mindset in life. The first series of questions are open-ended then closed-ended questions to determine how you can be of value of service to somebody else. A series of questions to determine how you can be of value to service of someone else. The second one is a series of questions, which is the harder one because it's gonna take radical humility and it's easier for you because you're young than it is for me because it's easier to do but it's less done. Ask a series of questions to determine do you know anyone that can help me? Ask for help. Mr. Meltzer, do you know anyone can help me? I want ba ba ba. Mr. Fatita, Mr. Merrill, Mr. Galen, Mr. Whoever, Mrs. So and so, right? Do you know anyone that can help me? You will exponentially create a flow and a mindset by being of value and of service and asking for value and service. The third one, student of your calendars. What you pay attention to, what you give intention to, intention is the aggregate of what you think, say, do, and believe, equals the coincidences in your life. A coincidence is a mathematical occurrence. When two angles coincide with one another to make a perfect angle, it's a coincidence. Let the two angles coincide perfectly in your life by paying attention to what you want and give it the intention that you want. By studying your calendar every day, you study what you're going to do today in person, on the phone, email, and media. Radio, print, TV, and social media. Study it. What am I doing today? How productive, accessible, and gracious am I about what I'm doing today? But even more important than the third of what you're studying, what you're doing, is study what you're not doing today. Study the white space of your calendar. All that free time that you're not productive, accessible, and gracious. Study it. Pay attention to it. Put intention into it. And you'll create more coincidences. And then finally, study sleep. You'll spend a third of your life sleeping. It's the biggest habit that we all share. It's the habit that we spend the most time with. Start studying your sleep. Find out when I'm supposed to sleep, how long I'm supposed to sleep, what temperature I'm supposed to sleep in, what type of sheets and covers and darkness I'm supposed to sleep in, when I travel, what time, when there's difference in time zone, if I'm doing drugs or alcohol, what effect does that have on my sleep? How can I use drugs and alcohol to enhance my sleep? I don't know. Study it for yourself. Fourth, one of the most important things that I do is I do it now. Have you ever heard 100% of all short putts don't go in? Anyone play golf? You play golf? Yeah. Have you ever had a short putt not go in? I mean, go in? You sure? Yeah. Well, let me tell you a better secret. 100% of the things you do now get done. If you get one thing done, you're ahead of most of the world. You get five things done, you're in the Andy Frisella zone where he teaches people just do five things, get them done, and go do whatever they want because you're doing way more than anybody else. Everything in my life, I'm staying present with, meaning I ask myself, can I do it now? If I can do it now, I do it because I save minimum twice as much time and I'm exponentially more successful. If I can't do it now, I create a repository, a list. I email myself, text myself, write it down, have a sticky note, whatever I can do to utilize a do it now folder and prioritize about what's most important first. I don't let urgency dictate what I'm doing. Urgency, I can actually delegate to other people things that are urgent that aren't important. But I'm looking and prioritizing things by importance. Being a student in my calendar, the previous lesson, I then go and make sure I'm studying time to have time every day to go look at my Do It Now folder so I keep knocking more things off to get done. Separating me far from everybody else. And then finally, mindset, practice ending fear. How do you practice ending fear? Simply learn to find your highest frequency, whatever that looks like for you. For me, I meditate 20 minutes in the morning. More difficult when you're young, there's things like headspace. But if you simply want to take a couple minutes every day to sit up straight, breathe through, in through your nose, out through your mouth, and allow yourself to find your higher frequency, your higher self, use that as a baseline to know when you get pissed off, angry, need to be offended, need to be right, need to be angry, frustrated, anxious, ang uh, fearful, offended like you know these needs of the ego that I just described I wish we could feed the earth as easy as we feed our ego those needs 
Anybody in here have a need to be offended? I promise you, you'll be fed immediately. <laughs> when you got a need to be offended, you're like, fuck, he stepped on my shoelace. Uh, he opened the door too fast. Uh, the sun isn't high enough yet, uh, right? That's a need to be offended, fuck you. Practice ending fear. Practice ending fear. That's the mindset that I have. Productivity, how productive I am, how I am providing accessibility, how accessible am I to others, and how am I accessing what I want, and great gratitude. Everything I see is half glass full. I practice all these things. I know that life is about lessons. The lessons will keep on coming until I learn them. If I haven't learned them, they'll result in pain, mental, physical, spiritual pain. And the thing about lessons is, no matter how many lessons you think you've learned, you're going to forget every lesson. So just be calm and forgiving about the fact that you're going to forget every lesson that you learned because there's one thing that's true today. You have the power to access every lesson you've ever learned that you've forgotten or you haven't known yet. We have the power to access those lessons. And life is about lessons. Enjoy the lessons. Enjoy the consistent, persistent pursuit of your potential in sports. And you will be happy. You'll be able to impact others with happiness. You'll make a lot of money, help a lot of people, and have a lot of fun.